Right then, so let's get this engine built. So this is the first video of a, say, a few part series of the final engine build. And as you can see here, I've put all the parts out which I have. There are some parts that are already installed or some that are missing, but it's super cool just to see everything in place. So you find me in my garage. Normally this is where the car goes. However, the car's gone for the respray and now we've got the engine. So originally this was just mocked up in place. You might see it in the previous video. It looks like it's ready, but it's not. It had no internals in it other than the rotating assembly, no timing, no stuff in the head, no cams, anything, no gaskets. So what I've recently done in the previous video is stripped it down, back to the block. Now it's time to rebuild it properly this time. I am quite worried. This is my first ever engine build, but everything's been the first, but I feel like this is a bit more important. Now I have made a start. We'll go through that in a minute, but I've been spending the last couple of weeks or so planning, prepping, checking, ordering the last few little bits to get all this done. I thought I had it really planned out. I really didn't. So I kind of started from fresh, gone through every single page of real OEM, double checked everything, bolt sizes, lengths, everything cleaned up, stuff is getting zinc plated. We're getting somewhere now. So the next few videos will be a part of the engine rebuild, solely focusing on this. And I feel like I'm in a position now to get it practically fully built up in the next week or so. So with that in mind, let's get on with the video. So right now, current state affairs are I've installed the oil pump, the chain, the tensioner, started on the timing chain. However, I'm missing a few gaskets, blah, blah, blah. So we need to wait on those. Ball pumps installed because installing the rest of it makes it a bit easier. Once that's on, we can move over to the head. Now I've been going through all the stuff with the head. Just to show you how my mind is working at the moment, this is all the little boxes I've got of everything, including the full real OEM printout. Super, super, super handy. So I've been making boxes of each bit. So here you can see this is all the timing, chain stuff, you've got the cover, you've got some of the guys, you've got some of the bolts. This is for the cylinder head. You can see I've got some of the bolts, um, some of the pipes and the gaskets. These are oddball so far, but obviously I know where some of this goes, I know where some of this goes. Loads of spares, loads of spares, loads of spares, and there's just parts everywhere. I need to have a big tidy up because it's a bit of a mess at the moment. However, with this being my first ever engine build, if you do see anything that does look wrong, please just say, I'm happy to listen. Everything is reversible if anything goes wrong, and I'd rather know now before I start it up. But anyway, let's go back in time to when I started this, and we can start going through what I've done so far. So then, oil pumps. Got three different ones here. Got the original, I've got one from a E28 and a spare because the original wasn't in the best condition. Or maybe it's this one. Can't remember exactly which one. So let's strip them all down. We can figure out which one has the best. So with all the three taken apart, I can now decide on which is the better condition one. Now, there's one extra thing. I have these brand new parts from BMW. So these are the only things that are available out of the whole thing. The casings are not available anymore. So the original one I removed, you can see there's big gouges in the, in the casing, big gouges in the rotor. So I knew straight away I needed a new one. But then I started finding metal deposits inside of here and the general condition of it untouched isn't very good the oil color <coughs> looks like it's not being serviced very well compared to this one here this doesn't look like it's being cleaned because the inside is the same color and as you can see it's in much better condition there's no there's this but you really can't feel it inside looks great and even what was removed as well looks great if you compare that to this one here you can see the damage so this is my current favorite contender this was just a spare because i was hoping to reuse this however same again some nice big gouges so we need to have a think the only problem with this one is there's a broken part here 
Now, is that important? Gonna say no. Feel like it's like a pressure relief valve. So I'm gonna do some Googling. The circlip sits way inside on there. So don't think that's gonna be an issue. And with this one, even though it does look pretty as it's being cleaned, unfortunately they didn't do a very good job as the internals are rusty and very ugly. So that's a no-go there. So that removes these two, leaves us with this one here. So I do need to clean this up slightly. Let's see what we can do with it. So what I'm doing here is measuring up the clearance. So due to replacing the rotor, I've measured that up with a micrometer and then I'm using the dial bore gauge to compare the diameter to the inner diameter of the casing. And looking here, it's 0.1 millimeters. So that's great clearance. So now that's nice and built up, I may as well focus on some nuts and bolts and any of the hardware. So using the ultrasonic bath, I'm able to drop these in with a bit of degreaser. I have muted it because the noise is horrendous. I'll show you at the end. But drop these in, I'm going to give them an hour, half an hour, and see how they look by the end of it. But yeah, have a listen to this.
So back to present time, I think it's best to leave the video here. So far, so good. I am enjoying the process so far, I'm enjoying all the organizing and everything else that's gone with it. Learning as I go along. So the next step will be to finish off the timing chain and hopefully get the heads on. So the only reason why I can't finish it off now is because I'm waiting on some parts. Um, it's not much, but it's enough to stop me in my tracks. However, there's enough else other things to do. So I'll focus on that for a bit while I wait for the parts. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one.